guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2016. I feel like I kind of give that same intro every year, but can you guys feel that? Like, do you feel the energy in the air of a new year? I am so excited. I'm so excited to be here with you guys in a new year. I am excited to be doing another year on YouTube. I've been here since like the end of 2008, so it's been a long, long time. I wanted to share with you guys a little tradition that we have in our family, and that is this. I can't really show you the whole thing on camera, but I'll insert something. Every year, I do a blanket for my husband. It started when he was in the Marine Corps, and he was deployed for Christmas, and I thought, what a great idea to put together a blanket of stuff that he's kind of missed out on throughout the year and then gift it to him at the end of the year so that he kind of feels like he was there and in the moment. And I have been doing it ever since. I believe this is year number five. I think I started it when my daughter was one. But I figured since what I do is every year I kind of put, you know, stuff that happened, big things that happened on the blanket, I figured I'd share some of those things with you guys just to kind of look back over 2015 and see all the things we did. Um, my kids, they both started in the same school for the first year, technically in school. They've been in like a daycare kind of setting before, but last year my daughter was in a private school and my son was in a smaller private school. Um, and this year they are both in school together, which has been a really big deal for me because I've been able to volunteer more of my time and be present for them and active and involved in their school. And that's been huge for me because my priority is my kids. No matter what I do, no matter how much I accomplish, no matter how much I set out to accomplish, my priority is always my kids. <laughs> All in one picture I have here, my husband took a big fishing trip and came back with his stuff. He's got his boat back there, which I don't know, I think he purchased that at the end of 2014, but that was a big thing for us in our family, um, going on the boat all the time and just living the lake life that we didn't live in California. We went to new places. This picture right here is at a place called Wakiva Springs, which was a spring in Florida that we visited and we loved. We had such a good time. And that was kind of the start of our adventure um, on the East Coast, like wanting to travel to different places and see new things. Picture right here represents me and my daughter going to our second Taylor Swift concert. And you know, the first one we went to, my daughter wanted to go, she was excited, she loved Taylor, but it was more of like a toddler just being like, Tay Tay, Tay Tay, Tay Tay. This year she actually kind of grew into herself and She's really found her love for Taylor Swift and, and realizes like, I wanna do what Taylor does. I wanna sing on stage with Taylor. I wanna take a picture with Taylor. So she, she gets it on a more, like a higher level now. So that was super, super exciting. Um, these pictures here are from our first family fishing trip. So that was really nice, we did that. Me and my husband went to an island that we had never been to before and ate this amazing food that we loved, we are obsessed with, we wanna go back to that. Here we went with our family to Universal Studios, the first time I had been since I was a child and we got to go to Harry Potter World which was fantastic and this is a nice little picture of my husband and his sisters. Um, this is just my daughter because she's cute and I thought it was a cute picture, but that was her in the obstacle course. She's old and oh, old and oh, my dog's about to knock down my camera. Um, she's old enough to kind of really be active in the obstacle course now, so that is fun. This is a tree that my kids grew this year. This was a huge deal because we bought our first forever home. We have bought multiple homes before, but this is our first. This is our home that we hope to settle, in, settle down in and stay in until the kids kind of graduate and go off and do their own thing. So they planted an avocado tree that we actually grew from a seed, like from you know the little, um, the big seed pit. And that will be the tree that every year we take pictures of the first day of school to see how it has grown and see how they have grown. There's again the Taylor Swift concert right there. Um, there is a picture of me in Phoenix. This is the first time my husband, uh, renovator, I don't know what you call it, but like the first time he transformed a piece of furniture and it was the first time my daughter learned how to really paint 
and do something that she could be proud of and now it is displayed in her room. It is a beautiful white dresser. So that was fun. My daughter's birthday, which we had her first like really big birthday party. My sister-in-law's quinceanera. So she turned 15 this year and that was a huge event for our family that took up a lot of time, um, a lot of resources, and it was a night that we will never forget. That's my husband, me, and my sister-in-law. And then this one, first of all, I'm happy because my legs, like, hey muscles, you can't really see it in the photo, but that, and we went to Nashville for the first time, me and my husband, Phoenix. Oh my goodness. We went on our first vacation as a married couple. We have never even been on a honeymoon. So that was a really big deal for us to kind of be together alone and experience those things together. And he was there for me when I was um, at a Beachbody conference that we do every year. So it was a super fun year. I look forward to 2016 and seeing what all it has to offer. I would love to hear some things that you did during 2015, things that you're proud of or maybe things you've never done or fears and anxieties you have overcome. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you're enjoying these new videos, kind of getting more of an insight into my life. I'm sorry that my background changes every five seconds because of my dog, every five seconds because of my dog, but you know, it's life. This is what 2016 is. It's about life. So we're just going to roll with it. Thank you guys for being so loving and so supportive. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.